Hello. This is going to be an out of focus video. It's Monday and I hope it's 11 days since last time. So this is set in macro mode so I can show you all the fruits. Here is an isolated cayenne, long slim. And here's the Datura Metel, which I called Brugmansia last time, and that's wrong. I just thought it was for the longest time, until someone told me and got me this. This is a Dalian's Pink Amour, which is a Brugmansia. And uh, it's, it's still growing. I believe this is a Cayenne Long Slim. It's also getting pods. I think it has a pod. Uh, it has a fat pod here. Just short and fat. Uh, and we've had a heat wave. Really, really warm temperatures for a while. Oh, look at that. Look at that pollen. That's sweet. Uh, so everything grew really well. This grew twice the size they had before. My orange Tabascos. I'm, I hope I'm hitting the focal length right. The Peru, Peruvian white Habaneros. And this one is finally ripe. I'm going to pick them today. Do I have the scales in here? No, I don't. I almost want to see what that weighs. It's going to be a lot. Here is the red habanero, which is growing. It's grown like, like from here. All that new growth have some old pods on it and as you can see we have new pods and we have flowers and we have isolation going on and everything and yeah it's growing quite well I've done one preliminary spray in here with the puretrum puretrum perhaps I don't see any mites or anything yet but well I haven't checked every leaf in here. <laughs> and look at this. It's grown so much. Last two or three videos, this has just been a fucking mess of brown. But you can see now, it's, it's white and stuff. Doesn't that look healthy? Here's a serrano, serrano pepper. And Apache, Apache. Uh, I had this out in, uh, in directly in the sunlight uh, and it got a little bit burnt, lost almost every, every leaf, but as you can see it's recovering quite nicely. Chocolate habanero. It's one the pod, two pod, three pod, four pod, and five pod. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have so many of this. This is still the chocolate habanero. And I have a few fruit, um, flowers on it and a few few fruits and in here it's a Trinidad Moruga Scorpion yellow so many pots this, yeah, this is chocolate hamanel and isolation and isolation isolated 
and they're kind of growing. And the poblano is finally starting to ripen up. This also has some tinge on it, but this further down, nothing so far. And um, what's this? Yeah, that's a devil rib. That's the other phenotype of devil rib I have. Devil's rib. Not a lot of flowers on it yet, but it's getting there. Here's another chocolate habanero, I think. Yeah, that's a chocolate habanero. It has a few flowers and stuff. No pods on it, really, yet. And here's that TMS yellow continuing. That looks good enough to cut open now. Oh, we lost one. But plenty more. And here's another poblano. That's a pretty big pod. <laughs> Russian chili spitting out pods. Here's my um, Aji, Aji Finlandia white. Getting some flowers, no pods yet. Uh, Hungarian hot wax. Lots and lots of flowers and pods. I love this one. It's really nice. Let's turn around. Uh, as you can see, I've done some binding up. Here's my tomato. I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna take these two tomatoes and just run them along the roof in the middle here. That's one branch. Space space yellows. They're doing alright. Let's move this forward a little bit. It's more light in there. And the one in the corner there is a uh, P P P P. What's its name? P I five two six five eight five two six eight or something. I, I don't remember. Not right now, anyway. And this is the same, and it has lots of flowers. <laughs> Fuck! Why can't I remember the name right now? Lovely flowers. Which is in focus, I hope. This one this one doesn't like this isolation technique. This is the only pod I've gotten to uh, to pollinate inside a bag. And I've set like 20 on this plant. So it just doesn't like it. This Cheerio Roxa doesn't like it either. And I'm starting to think this is not a orange Tabasco. But it looks the same, but still not the same. Like, the shape is okay, but it's so much lighter in color. I don't know what's going on here. I'll just have to wait until these are ripe to see. Uh, jalapeno early. Let's see. Yeah, and this is the uh, another space. Let's see which one this is. Yeah, this is the seven, which ripens like one of those minty stripy candies. It's uh, it's really twisty, and it ripes in that pattern, as you can see a little bit when I turn it. I hope. Should have filmed this yesterday, but another TMS yellow. Much flower, such wow. Another chain long slim. I think this is a space. Let's 
see if I can find the label here. Without severing too many branches by just being here. Yeah, it's space number one. And if I remember correctly, it was just sweet, not hot at all. Quite large pots. Unknown. I don't know. I lost the label for this one. I don't know. And the iron deficiency. Aji lemon or hot lemon. Very iron deficiency. But still has pods. Pods, pods, pods. Pods galore. And here's a yellow one. And here is a seven pot uh, SR Giga or Giga. Only has one pod so far. Haven't tasted yet. We'll pick today and do. Do. Temp right now. It's okay. And look, what a surprise. It's overcast. What a surprise. And here's a cap 220, 220. What's, what's this damage? Hmm. The fuck? Huh. It's gonna turn. These pods are gonna turn orange. According to the internet. Looking forward to that. It's quite a few. And here's my seven pot yellow. Huge push. Let's, let's pick this one. Nice, right? Hmm. Nom 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 nom. Uh, it's one of the espets. And uh, here's my space number four. quite a lot of flowers and this will be fully grown the next time you watch the next video I mean these two <laughs> you can see the pollen flying from them and I even have flowers down here as I said last time, if I remove those, these are going to be fine, I think. So let's see what else. Here's another Serrano pepper. And here's a peach Yulukia. That's right. I'm going to leave this on for like two weeks and see if it changes in color or anything. The other one tasted ripe, but you never know, might develop further. And uh, I think that's it. That's it for the tour today. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe or like or comment. I would like. I would really like it if you comment questions or just praise. Uh, and uh, until next time, see ya!